What's going on, y'all? It's KJ Nolan here. Now, I'm sure y'all remember just a few months ago, I gave y'all the update that Epic Games had bought the music platform Bandcamp, and a lot of people were curious to see what that was going to be. There has been some controversy over the past couple months, not necessarily between Epic Games and Bandcamp, but just what the future is actually going to hold for Bandcamp as a platform okay epic games came in and said that they're not coming in with the intention of changing how bandcamp does anything they're going to remain a standalone company and that they just came in to help finance and help facilitate bigger business on their behalf um, however there has been some controversy between epic games and google so i want to talk to you all about that real quick and i want to tell you uh, what this means for bandcamp as a result so just a month ago, Epic Games filed a lawsuit or a motion, I should say, against Google requesting a preliminary injunction to block the tech giant from removing the Bandcamp app from its store. And the reason that Google wants to remove the Bandcamp app from its Google store is because Bandcamp has its own in-app uh, revenue sharing program okay so when people make purchases on Bandcamp the money funnels straight to the artist it doesn't go through any uh, transaction fees um, that are put through Google and Google doesn't get a cut of any of that right so now Google's looking at them like you know what we're changing our policy and we want a cut of the revenue that y'all are making off of this platform. So Epic Games is actually standing up on behalf of Bandcamp to try to ensure that this doesn't happen. And I think this was also an issue that was going on with Fortnite and a couple of other uh, games that are in the Epic Games catalog where they ended up being removed from Google. So this has been an ongoing issue between these two companies. Bandcamp just kind of got caught in the middle because they're new, but well, not new as in like a new company, but new to the Epic Games family. And according to the article that I read about this, uh, Google actually wants a 30 percent cut of all revenue that comes in from the sales that are made on their platform. So let's say you make your own app today and you have an in-app uh, purchasing option. Any money that you make for your app and your company, they want 30% off top just for having your platform on Google. It's garbage. It's crazy. Basically saying, if you want to sell dope on this block, you got to put me in. So according to the motion that was filed against Google in April, um, Google had threatened to remove any apps, including Bandcamp from its app store on June 1st, 2022 of course that's right around the corner um, basically saying if they didn't adopt Google's payment system for in-app purchases that rather than using their own payment system that they would have to go now using Google's payment system requires app makers to pay the company a fee that 30% I just told you about and Epic and Bandcamp argue that this change would threaten to irreparably harm Epic and thousands of artists who rely on the Bandcamp app. So everybody that's making money on Bandcamp and you've been functioning a certain way, you've been getting paid within 24 to 48 hours, all of that will be threatened. You'll be giving up 30% of your revenue and you will not be getting paid until 15 to 30 days after the money has already been transferred. So now you got to wait uh, two weeks to a month to get paid, whereas Bandcamp has already been paying you within a day or two. So it just throws off your whole operation that kills um any type of organization or accounting that people were previously doing with the Bandcamp system. And just to note, just so you know, the magnitude of the situation is over 500,000 independent artists and 11,000 independent labels that are basically uh, releasing music, releasing catalog, uh, collecting payments and paying their artists and personnel off of these transactions on Bandcamp currently. So over 500,000 people would be affected by these changes. The good thing is that they've come to some type of agreement or at least a temporary agreement for the time being. There's going to be no changes made, but it's not set in stone. And by the end of the summer, things could change. So according to a joint stipulation filed by both Epic and Google, um, the music platform can continue to use its own payment system on Android devices. And Google has agreed not to remove Bandcamp from the Play Store as long as the agreement filed stays in effect. Bandcamp and Epic have agreed, however, to start placing 10% of all revenue generated from in-app purchases on Android devices into an escrow account until Epic's case with Google is completely resolved. Right. So basically, 10 percent of everything that's made uh, on Bandcamp is now going to be shifted into an account that nobody can touch. Basically, it's reserve funds. So if this thing goes bad, they have to pay Google 
they are they already have money set aside. If this motion rules in favor of Bandcamp and Epic, then they can actually redistribute those funds back into the platform and back into the creators that are already there. So yeah, y'all stay tuned. I'll be giving y'all updates as soon as I get them. Of course, y'all already know how I do. Um, if you're new here, make sure you subscribe to the channel. Hit the like button below. Drop a comment down. And I'll see y'all in the next video. All right? Much love and respect. Peace.